Hello, everyone. It's my absolute pleasure to be here tonight and tell you a story about Zoom charts and introduce you to the technology that we are currently developing. And yeah, I think you won't forget this evening. Right, so let's get right onto the agenda of my presentation. And I'll briefly start with a demonstration of a couple of real case scenarios where you can use Zoom charts and how we are changing the way you interact with big data. And then after those short demonstrations, I'll go over the startup story as such to let you know what was our road, what were the challenges, and how we came from the idea to where we are right now. All right, so let's start with this simple example. Um, in uh, this demonstration, you will see how we have changed the way you will work with the financial data using Zoom charts technology. Uh, I'll start the video. So normally, if you go to your internet bank account statement, what you see is just a list of those transactions, which is fine, but I mean, you could do better with those, correct? So what we did is we applied Zoom charts technology on top of those transactions, and all our charts are interactive. So first of all, in that time chart, as you can see, I'm literally zooming in to the data period that I'm interested into. So first thing here, you no more need those drop downs where you choose the date. You use the Zoom charts time chart to select the data period easily with just a couple of clicks. Next thing below the time chart, what you're seeing here is the interactive pie charts. And interactive pie charts are showing you how the money is coming in and how, where it's going out automatically grooved by the partners. So within those two pie charts, you immediately see all the relevant information. And moreover, not for all those statements, but just for the time period that we selected before. Now let's zoom out a little bit. And you can see that those charts are integrated together. And as I'm changing the time span there, the rest of the interface responds. So and yes, you can also filter by any particular partner just by clicking on a slice. And when I did that, automatically the time chart was redrawn and also the list of the transactions was filtered by that selected partner. And if you apply Google-like search, you can immediately see on the time axis and on those time pie charts when those transactions actually happen. So what was before just a list of transactions immediately became into intuitive analytics interface that can be used on cross-device, whether it's your iPad or iPhone. Zoom Charts is a JavaScript library, so you can integrate it into your existing application and get all the benefits immediately on all the contemporary platforms. Right, so pie charts, how they are special. Let's move on to this next example. In this example, what we did is we asked CSDD data for cars that are registered in Latvia. They sent us really big file, big Excel file with like 300,000 rows. And what we did is we imported that data into a little database and applied Zoom charts technology in order to enable instant uh, analytics of that data. And what, when I say that, let's see what you can do with the Zoom charts pie chart. So first of all, one thing. Normally, in pie charts, you have the gray area called others, and you never know what's inside there. At Zoom charts, we have fixed it. You can click on it, and when you click on it, it, it expands. So using Zoom charts technology, you can explore all the data there is horizontally across the axis. So no details are omitted, and you can explore whatever you're looking for. Using the others, we navigate it to the Jaguar, and when I clicked on that, you can see the next level drill down automatically. So not only you can explore data in the horizontal axis, but you can also go into details. And all that happens out of the box. Take an Excel, convert to JSON format data, plug it into the Zoom charts, and you get this instant visualization. And this is all touch optimized. Zoom charts, apart from other libraries, isn't just uh, sort of made compatible with mobile devices, but it is built to be used on mobile devices. This is really something that sets us apart. So, plug in the data and you get this analytics on the horizontal axis and also this automatic drill down. And what is more, you don't have to spend much time for your developers for them to create those custom code. They just need to plug in the data. So you'll be saving time on your development resources as well. All right, so far we've seen the time chart. We've seen the interactive pie charts. But we have something even more interesting in the next example. And um, 
in this example, what we've done is we've taken a small subset of IMDb movies, we've fetched the top actors for those, we've plugged that into the cluster point NoSQL database, and applied Zoom charts interface on top of that. And now let me show you what you can, what we resulted with. So let's say you come home in the evening, you want to watch some movie, what you do? You just type in some person or movie that you are familiar with, in this case Al Pacino, and immediately you can see the most popular movies of his. And then, as our charts are interactive, you can start your exploration journey just by clicking on those other movies and actors to instantly find and reveal new relevant content that you could potentially consume this evening. So you started with something that you know, and then just by a couple of clicks, you find entirely different content that you could be interested in consuming. And um, what is good in this solution is that if you do this in IMDb, when you are looking at related movies, you lose the trail. But in the zoom charts, as you can see, you have this big picture. You see how you came from Al Pacino to the selected movie that is of your interest. And also, you can use the filters. So in this case, I'm just showing different ways how you can filter out movies depending on the year of publishing or the IMDb rating. And then finally, when I found what I'm looking for, I just do the right click or long press and I get this information pop up in which with just one click I can either watch a trailer or buy the movie. So now you saw how with Zoom Charts interface you are changing entire experience, how you find content how you, and how you can consume it. And all of that happens automatically. Just pretty much plug in the data and you have this groundbreaking UI. Also, another aspect here is that you can cross-combine different charts. For instance, in this example, the pie chart around that lady shows in what type of movies she's been into, and by clicking on those slices, you can again filter out only movies that are either drama or comedy or whatever genre that you are interested into. And as you can see, this has been shown on TV mockup. So again, cross-device, cross-platform compatible, and we're working with Samsung to get this up, out, up, and ready on your smart TVs sometime soon. Right, so this is briefly about the Zoom Charts technology and what we are doing. I hope you have a good idea of what it is and how it's different from simple chart technology. And now I'd like to tell you a little bit about the story of Zoom Charts as, as a company. So, you might wonder how it all started. Very simple. In year 2013, colleagues of us were creating their own product called Goal Log Analytics Software. And they ran into an issue that there was no library that would be mobile optimized and that would work with big data automatically and that would let you drill down the data uh, using the time axis. One thing is that you show the big picture but our zoom charts as you saw in time chart lets you drill down into the details. So you start with data for years but then you can go down even up to the milliseconds. So it was identified that there's no such a vendor that would provide easy to use cross-platform compatible and performing well library. So idea sparked that hey, maybe, maybe we should do that because, because of the following reasons. First of all, according to analytics, uh, the growth of the touch panels and the mobile devices is booming right now and it will expand dramatically over the next 10 years. Secondly, the big data market is growing, going to grow up to the 48 billion by 20, 000, 2018. So, and Finally, we have HTML5 adoption wide enough to create such library that will work finally cross-platform and in a nice way. So there's a technology, there will be data, and there will be need to visualize and interact with the data. So obviously the missing component was a library that would take an advantage of, of the data that there will be, the devices that we all already have. And yeah, those were the, the main points behind the reason why this idea was, was moved forward. So let's step back a little bit. So what are the ingredients for a successful startup? Anyone? Team. Team. Else? Idea. Idea. Excellent. And the third missing component? Product of money. Uh, no, you get to that, but what you need before you get to that? Product market fit. Yeah, so basically you need this grand vision, first of all, as the, as the guy said, the idea. And in, in Zoom Chart's case, our vision is to become the number one SDK for interactive chart development in web and mobile apps. Next, it is okay that you have a good vision, but 
vision is not enough. You need a realistic plan of execution. You need to, to be able to prove how you'll get from your idea to actual implementation of that vision. And it wouldn't be possible if you didn't have a team that is able to execute. So if you have the vision, if you have the plan of execution, and foremost, if you have the team able to execute, you have the ingredients that are required for a successful startup. And obviously, we did, we did have all of those. And then we started small. We set the vision. We made the plan. We attracted the top, top specialists in the industry to get this product up and running in a very short time. And that resulted in a very nice seed investment from a premature capital to be here. And um, what it resulted then into, it took us less than a year to get from the idea to this first prototype in which we had all those basic chart types working and functional, tested on many devices. And we launched our online shop in March 2014. And in the first year, already on our customer list, you can see quite a bit of companies that, we've, that have chosen to go with the Zoom Charts technology, also HP, as you can see. And what is interesting is that um, we did that with zero euro investment in dedicated marketing. So what we did is we created this product, we did a good SEO optimization, and we just put a few links in a couple of sites. And, uh, all those companies found us through those sites and they found that our product was truly innovative and decided to go ahead with us even though we didn't spend any money in marketing. And this all served well for the follow-up investment and we made a plan that if this worked with such little investment, that then there must be a really big upside potential that we can realize. So we created this plan for the next, next steps for how to grow, for how to get bigger and then we raised follow-up investment 5,100 euros in uh, November 2014 and that enabled us first of all to scale our team. We were three in the beginning and now we are 11. Investment raised today now is 700,000 euros. We have more than 40 paying customers and more than 700 trials already started so every one of you can go to our webpage and start a free trial. And um, what are the current challenges? All right, so, so we have the product, which is good, which is really good, as we can see. Many companies have already validated that and started those trials and converted into the fully paid licenses. But it's really challenging when you need to deliver such a new product to this existing market because we are really changing the way how you interact with the data. So we have to spend a lot of time, money, and effort to, to brand, build our brand properly and also do the proper marketing and sales activities. And obviously, as we are growing bigger, it becomes more difficult to get the bright people in the team because um, uh, to keep innovate, we really need advanced people who have deep understanding in the field and who are able to innovate. So those are the challenges that we're facing right now. And uh, speaking about the future plans, so, what we're looking forward to is raise about five to seven million euros this year. And we would like to spend that money to, first of all, to massively expand our global sales and marketing to bring the word out about the Zoom charts because we see the potential and our customers who use our product also validate the good features about <coughs> our product. We need to increase our scene size to about 40 plus people in the next two years in order to support all those customers that we're gonna have and also to support the R&D that we're working on and marketing activities. And we're also looking forward to launch a couple of SaaS solutions that would open the Zoom charts technology for a much wider audience because at the moment it's JavaScript SDK so you need either an IT team or developers in order to get the Zoom charts SDK integrated and fitted with your data. But we want to make it open. We want to make it possible for any one of you who have data to just log on, plug in your data, and feel the power of the Zoom charts. So we see that there is a really big market, and we're going to go for it. And um, yeah, we're really proud to be of the part of Zoom charts, and really glad to hear when our customers say that really, they really like the Zoom charts. It's, that's really a fuel for our work and makes us go forward. So thank you for your attention and good luck with your startups. If there are any questions, I'd be happy to answer those now. Or you can go to our webpage. 
Sorry, do you plan or you have some integration with big data analysis uh, language like R or something, mm -hmm. mm. something like this? Mm. So I think your solution can be very useful for such, such way, in such way. Yeah, so Zoom Charts SDK is basically a JavaScript library at the moment, so there is no limit really to what data source or what data uh, situation you plug this library into. So if you can write a data adapter, you can use Zoom Charts. So if you have any database, all you have to do is write a little bit of code that converts the data that you have in a database and just transmits it to the Zoom Charts SDK component. And so you can use it basically with any database and as an analytical system. Yeah, but it's not database, it's program language. Yeah, it's program language, but you need to integrate it with the Zoom charts in order to get the visualization. At the moment, we don't have such a plugin, for, especially for the, our analytics system, but we might have that in the future if there's big enough demand. Next questions? Please raise your hand. Um, probably I missed that one, but what's the, what's the business? What's the rev revenue model? How do you monetize? Is it subscription-based? Yes, yeah, so at the moment the business model is following, so everyone can start a free trial and then when you have validated the software and you think that it's good enough for your use case, what you do is you go to our webpage and just buy a developer license, which is one off payment, starts from $699, and then you can create different projects, whatever you need. And then after one year, if you want to still receive free upgrades to this library, there's a 30% upgrade cost for the initial license. Also, we are offering a premium support for those who feel better if there's somebody to call to and talk to and have a deeper guidance into how to integrate Zoom charts into a particular use case. So that can be bought additionally. And finally, if you are a bigger vendor, a bigger company, and you have a software as a service solution, or if you're planning to use an OEM distribution channel for your own software, in that case, you need an OEM license to be bought from the Zoom charts. All right, next questions? Yeah, gentleman over there. over there. So how in terms of partnerships uh, do you think, because we have like an online-based uh, service where we collect forms information from, from around the world, and we would definitely benefit from adding uh, kind of a charting components on top for ourselves and for our customers. Do you have any like uh, partnership options where, um, I mean, we could add your logo on the Zoom charts and then we can kind of uh, give you exposure to our Fortune 500 customers? And, um, and maybe in that sense, do you have something like that? Where it's yes, we are open to all sorts of cooperations and we ourselves are a startup, so we are ready to cooperate with other startups and companies if it's beneficial for both sides. And another important thing is that we are giving away free licenses to universities and non-profit organizations that would like to use Zoom charts to reveal some interesting data that they have. And um, if you have some concrete ideas, uh, please call me or contact me over email. I'd be happy to discuss. Okay, any last questions? No. I, okay, I guess uh, later on uh, during the networking part. So thank yeah. you, Janis, very much. Thanks. Big applause.